what I'm going to show you now is on a design where we've got the slope that's over there to our left side and we've got lines down here. Let's say we were cutting a pad. Any of these lines right here can act as lines to follow. So for example, this one right here, I can go ahead and go into my horizontal. I can select that line or any of them and I can leave it all at zero right now. There's this pass shift overlap distance and overlap percentage. Right now I want to make my first pass right down the line. Then when I set back to make another pass, I'm going to show you how in order to clean up that windrow, I can offset just a couple feet over. If not, the next pass over, it's just going to automatically run the right side of the blade or left side, whatever you've picked on that next line. So you may miss that little bit of material. So line is selected, hit apply. Now that I'm out on this one, you can see I'm a ways away from it. I'm 31 feet away from it. I'm going to just simply turn on my auto right there, put it in gear, and I'm going to let go. So it's going to automatically take me over to that line all by itself. As you can see, it's getting within about two feet. It'll get within one feet. It doesn't go straight to it and then make a hard jog. Now we are right on the side of that line right there. I'm going to hit it into second. We'll go a little bit faster. Turn the autos on for the blade up and down. Now what I'm going to do is turn off auto steer and just turn around right here so we can make some straight passes. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit my auto right there and let off. You can see with no hands, it's going to take me to that line. It's going to get me oriented right on that line in second gear. doesn't matter how fast you're going. I'm going to click it down to one. The other cool part is, is with angling the blade. So right now you can see I'm close to it. Well, when I angle the blade, the corner of the tip actually moves over. So it adjusts for that, because as I angle that blade all the way in and all the way over, see how it's off a little bit? That blade tip is actually coming in, so the dozer has to move over to adjust for it. Because now if I bring it back the other way, you can see that it has to adjust to come back the opposite way. But it does so really, really quick. It also works in reverse, too. So. I'm going to turn on off and come off just a little bit off that line just so you can see what it looks like when I'm here. Now I'm going to put it in reverse and turn the autos for the auto steer back on. Hands off, backing up. It's going to auto center on itself and it's going to get us right back to zero. It does do a little bit of a jog right there to get on it. Now we're back on zero. Those adjustments. So now that I'm done with that line, what happens is if you want to make the next pass over, you can see the line we made right there. If you hit this button right here, you can go to the pos positive or negative. So knowing that that line is going straight towards in front of me based on the arrows, if I hit the negative right here, which would be left of the line, positive right, since I had left that at zero on an overlap, it's going to go the full length of the blade. So now you can see the blue was the original line, the red line's the new one. Now what I can do is just turn on the auto again right here, put it in gear, and let it go, no hands. It's going to align me on to that line over the length of the blade, width of the blade, excuse me. So now I've got it, I'm going to cut another perfectly straight pass right next to that one. The only inherent problem with that though is if you've ran a dozer, if you were working some material on that pass, you're going to run over a windrow on one side. Well now I'm going to be missing that windrow. So what I'm going to do is turn it back off and I'm going to set back a little bit and I'll show you how to make an overlap to where you're not, you are offsetting over to make straight lines. So you can see right now I'm kind of overlapped from what I am. If you push and hold on that left one right there, you can see that I can do an overlap distance. I can either type in a number off that blade or do a percentage. Knowing that my blade is basically 11 foot, let's just say that I want to do like a 20% overlap. It'll auto 
auto put in the number that's right there. So 20% would be two and a half feet. I'm gonna actually cut that back and just type in a one, uh, 1 1.5. I wanna do a one and a half foot overlap. So you can do it either way based on percentage of the blade or overlap distance and it adjusted that line to that. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and turn the auto steer on again, hit it into gear, forward, let off, and it's gonna cut me over and line me up. But out here, out in front of us, now I've got a one and a half foot overlap over what I was already doing on that pass. So if I angled the blade, you can see that if I had, if I actually was windrowing some material, it would carry that material over. Now what I can do is overlap that again, just to show you on the fly. If I hit that one more time, it's gonna set that new line over there. I'm making passing lanes. As Soon as I let off, no hands. Now that I've got a new line out there, it's automatically gonna go and line me up on that line. So you can make straight passes, perfectly straight passes, following edges, following lines, cutting paths make hot offsets. Now I can hit it one more time. Now it's gonna move me over to another line all by itself. You can see by the offline option right there. Thank you for watching this video from Sight Tech Intermountain, Dozer Horizontal Steer, Selecting Pass Lines.